nation, the world, your families, you individually, everything about your life is changing. And walk with God and walk close to God and seek God first and seek Him early. Yes. And this is going to be a loving, great experience. The last days of the church. They will speak of it in the 1,000 years to come. As we speak of the church 2,000 years ago, they will be speaking of this church in the 1,000 years to come. Seventh, eighth, ninth day. That's right. Right on into the ninth day, they will be speaking. You and I are not wandering stars. You are destiny. God has purpose. Live your life that way. I am a man of destiny. God has commanded my life. I will spend it to the last day doing his will because nothing else matters. Because Jesus Christ is Lord and Master. Take that cup, use it, and God will use you. A lot of exciting things coming up in the church. Uh, we're developing, and I'd like for you men to be aware, I'd like to have a men's uh, retreat uh, and uh, Friday night, Saturday, we'll spend the night together in a location um, to be given and uh, we will be in prayer there, and we will fellowship, and we will come back here Saturday afternoon. And Sister Marlowe is developing a ladies' retreat of the same nature, where we will be alone with each other, alone with Christ, and we will fellowship, and we will speak of the Word. It's going to be very exciting, and going to be very profitable. Our young people are going to be developing I'm praying for Brother Matthew and Sister Sherry. They're, they're giving 110%. I hope every parent within, and I'm going to be sending letters out and speaking to parents. And um, I even be a little forceful as a parent. Uh, you know, you don't have to yield to a child's no every time they say no. Do you? As a father and mother? No. You don't have to yield to their no. But uh, urge your young people. Encourage them. Cheer them on. I'll be saying this again. Um, to build our youth work. Then, Sister Sandy, um, maybe would you pray about it and let me know the first night that you have everything down that way free to where we could bring a crew down? And how many people could we get in your living room down there? 12, 14? Something like that? Well, in the, you let me know, in a given time, you pray. Let me know well, when you're here on a weekend, and then I'll call me. And we're going to have our first mission prayer meeting effort down in Port Charlotte, uh, there with Sister Sandy. and. And we're going to, there are some people we know in the Port Charlotte area, and we're going to ask them to come over and to, to be there. We're praying strongly right now about reopening the church in Arcadia and uh, establishing the church there again. God has never let me be free of the burden of Arcadia. Brother Rhodes was highly blessed of the Lord there. Were you not, Brother Rhodes? Yes. In your ministry. And uh, I am praying, oh Lord, uh, let us lead us and guide us. It is not time to retreat Amen. from Satan. No. That's right. That's right. From his works, his action, his bluff. Yes. That's all he has is a bluff. You go forward. Push your body. Did you know I have I have pushed my body 
So till I have sat in this chair, and I would fight sleep, I would be so tired, but I would fight it, and I would direct this service. I have come in here without eating supper. I've come in here from behind those doors when people sometimes were blessing me and sometimes were cursing me. And I would close the door and walk in here and preach the gospel. Amen. Because Jesus Christ is the only remedy. Amen. Activate your talent. I told Lorraine, she was writing down some notes tonight. She's 89 years of age. She was writing notes, making them. I said, of songs, we had sung, of courses, we had sung in the past, of words I was saying on faith. I said, write that down for me and give me that. It will feed me. No one is without value. No one is without value. Someone said to me, the, 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 the blessing of measurement, Brother Marlowe, you've been talking about the temple being measured by the Word of God. The blessing of measuring is value. Amen. If you never measure anything, it will have no value. Right. But if you measure it, it automatically has value. Amen. Right then and there, it has value. Amen. Measure the love you have for someone. How deep it is, how wide it is, how strong it is. Measure things God has given you. Measure your friendship. Measure your love for someone. Immediately it takes back. Immediately. That's the that's the value of measure. So, and everybody, are you are you are you as tired as I am, aren't you? Or maybe more? physically, but I'm happy in my spirit. Amen. I praise the Lord, Brother Steve, in my spirit. Amen. I praise God in my spirit. Amen. 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 You know what we have for the week in the offering? We have $498 in here tonight. Uh, we have $2,746. I believe this crowd left here tonight can make that an even $4,000 right in this basket right here. Amen. That's fourteen hundred dollars, isn't it? Uh, well, that's thirteen hundred dollars to raise. Now, I'm not, that's, I'm not going to pull for that. I'm not going to make any pledges. Uh, but I just believe that God is God, and uh, that giving what I can give and will give, and what God leads you to give, will bring that up. Because hey, my Father is rich. Yes. He is rich, and I know He is great, and He is mighty. And don't worry about the bread on the table next week. If you don't have bread to eat, call me. And if, if I've got a loaf or half a loaf or more, it will be yours. Praise the name of the Lord or whatever you need. What size shoe you wear? I wear a size 10, don't I? 10? All right. You, you can have my shoes if you're out of shoes. Amen, amen. God bless you. I wear a size 42 suit so you can have that. Uh, whatever. God bless you real good. Sherry. There's some donuts and some dinner rolls in the dining room that needs to go if anybody would like them. There, there is uh, rolls and uh, there's a lot of donuts back there, isn't there? And there's a lot of rolls in the dining room. So may God bless you and may you bless the offering if God will allow you to. And God will, because he loves you. And let's just do what God would have us do. Invite somebody Monday night to Bible study. Tomorrow evening, 6 o'clock, we have Bible study right here in depth. Uh, and uh, there's, there's music uh, practice, band practice. And any musician or any one of the band, even someone of the choir that wants to come and just encourage the band, by clapping hands and saying, thank God you're here. Come tomorrow night at 7.30. All right, Tuesday night, bilingual. And then Wednesday night.